I'm here to try and help answer a question that I get asked a lot, and that is, what game should I stream? Normally it's new streamers, people who haven't really been in the world too long, haven't really been in the world of streaming too long, asking me, well, what should I stream? What should I show? What will people watch? It's a complicated question with a relatively simple answer. So we're going to go through and I'm going to explain all the things we've got now. You can see on the screen I've got Twitch up here. Yeah, I've got all the games right now. Fortnite is the number one game. We're sorting games by pop popularity. We're not going to work about app. I'm not going to talk too much about uh, IRL streams because uh, IRL streams are kind of a totally separate thing. It depends what you do in real life, what you're good at, what your hobbies are, what kind of portable equipment you've got with you. That'll be a separate video. For now, we're going to talk. That is an interesting. That's a video I want to see about video games. What video game? Because that, that's a lot more nuanced. Should you stream on Twitch? Well, how about the most popular one? People are watching it. There's a guaranteed audience. Uh, well, okay. We have to go in with this perspective of like, he's probably talking about what games you should stream based on uh, your goal being growth, right? Which that's definitely a goal. Uh, if I can make money off of this and make this like a, a career, yeah, fantastic. Um, but I think there's also an element that needs to be considered of what games do you prefer playing? Because there's also another make or break you have to consider. If you go into a game, like the most optimal game, you know, with the lowest number of streamers in that category, but the highest number of viewers, so that you can have the highest chance of getting an audience, there's also a chance that you may not like the game, you may not be charismatic when playing it, uh, you may not play it very well, and in that case, there's no point in even playing that category because there's no growth at all. Nobody will watch you simply because you don't enjoy the game. So there's a bit more nuance that goes into it than just uh, the best ratio of uh, viewers to streamers in the category. So let's go with the most popular one, which right now happens to be Fortnite, with over 151,000 viewers. Awesome. That means there's definitely going to be an audience for you. So let's have a look at Fortnite, see what we've got. Look at that, the number one has got 40,000 people watching. That's amazing, 40,000 people watching. Okay, well, the second one has got 15,000 people. I'm not saying that's a bad amount of people at all, that's still incredibly impressive, but it is less than half of the number one spot. So we've, uh, we've dropped down by 25,000 people. Straight away, that's, that's a hell of a lot of people to drop down from. And then we drop down again to 11,000, 7, and then 3. So the top four channels Damn. are amazing. And then 3,000, 2,000. We can even scroll down and be at 1,000 pretty quickly. I'm not saying having 1,000 viewers is a bad thing. That's yeah, 1,000 viewers puts you in the top 1%. 1,000 viewers is incredible. Still an absolutely insane amount of people watching you. But please understand that the, the top, the world number one, is an outlier in the data. It's so insanely difficult to ever reach that. People look at that and think, oh, I'll be able to get somewhere near it. Even the second place is nowhere near it. Again, not saying second place is bad. I'm saying the second place is still 25,000 thousand people short. I mean, to get 25,000 people, the second place would need the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh all to jump into their stream. So the top here is kind of an outlier in the data. It's not something we should be looking at too much. So let's scroll down and get into the middle kind of areas. This, this is the average Twitch streamer who's still phenomenally successful. Now we're looking at 400 viewers. Yeah. We're looking at 280, 229. I like that. I like the sweet spot of the hundreds, honestly. I think that's where, um, whenever I watch clips of streamers when they're at their 100 uh, to 100 to 500 viewer range, I think that's when they're mo that at their most entertaining because that's when they're really pushing it. This is the mid-level where you're still going to be very, very popular, still going to be well-known. This is the level a lot of people want. Because they're, it's still highly competitive. You know, it's almost as competitive as it was, you know, when you're at your zero, one, uh, 
1 to 10 viewer range, but there's also this desire to go like, okay, I really have to push myself because only a few of us are going to make it into the realm of being able to make a living off of this because you're just on the verge. You're right on the limit right there. And so you give it everything you got. And I think the entertainment value that comes out of those uh, few hundred viewer streams is far greater than the entertainment that comes out of the big ones. To try and get to. If you can get to here, you'd be happy. But if we scroll down even further, we start to get to where you're more likely to be. 50, 50, 43, 39, 36. This is still good, but it's nowhere near the 40,000 we started looking at. When we scroll down even more, we start to get to the truth of what you're going to see with these popular streams, which is less than 20 and eventually less than 10. If you stream the most popular game in the world, you can see I'm scrolling down more. If you stream the most popular game in the world, this is where you're going to be. You're going to be in, it's not the bottom of the barrel because I'm not saying these streamers are bad. It is, however, an absolute cattle market of everyone trying to do the same thing because everyone has that mindset. They look at the most popular game in the world and think, oh, I'll stream that because there's definitely an audience for it. Unfortunately, the audience for it is mostly in the top five streamers. And if you're not in the top five, you're likely to be down here. If I keep going down, we're seeing a lot of people with six viewers, a lot of people with five viewers. This is where you're going to be. And how many videos have I scrolled past already? How many videos have I scrolled past? And how many have instantly grabbed my attention? Almost none. The screenshots are pretty much identical for all of them. There's nothing jumping out at me. I can't really see any, any titles that make me intrigued. The nothing here is immediately jumping out at me. How many of these streams have five viewers? If you start to stream this kind of game, the most popular game in the world, even if it's not Fortnite, the thing remains the same. If you stream the most popular game in the world, you will be down here with these guys. I'm not saying these guys are bad. I'm not saying there's anything bad with that. But if you are trying to get noticed, if you are trying to get seen, please understand, you're going to be one face in a crowd of thousands. So... There's going to be almost no reason someone would click on you. As harsh as it sounds to say, I'm still scrolling down. People with four views here, I'm still scrolling down. We could probably take the bottom, I'd say the bottom thousand Fortnite streamers, add them all together, and they still wouldn't make the top ten as far as viewer, you know, viewer numbers go. That's ridiculous. We scroll down even more and we start to get to four viewers, two viewers. If you stream the most popular game in the world, this is where you're going to be. Don't get drawn into that trap of streaming, oh, it's popular, therefore I'll find an audience. You won't, because everyone else has found the audience. So, let's go back. Let's discount, let's say no to the most popular game in the world. This, same for League of Legends, same for PUBG. Same for Counter-Strike, even Far Cry 5, just let's have a look, Far Cry 5 has just come out. The top video has got 16,000, then we drop to 9, 7, 3, 3, 3, and then we're down to less than 1,000 when we're over here. We scroll down even more, and we're going to start to get to the 50s and the 60s. Again, a respectable viewer count, but there's no, there's no reason to click on any of these specifically. Nothing's... Here's my strategy so far from what I've gathered. I'm going to start, so I'm already playing Roblox with my homies right now. So I'm going to start game hopping in Roblox. And you know what? That does seem to be a pretty uh, good strategy. I had like five viewers the other day concurrently. And I'm like, damn, you know what? That's a huge sum from what I used to have, which is one. Um, so I'll stream Roblox. I'll game hop in Roblox. Go from game to game to game. Um, and what I'll do is I'll make some piece of clothing in Roblox so that people can find me. Um, like I'll, I'll put my Twitch username or my Discord username on the piece of clothing. I don't, uh, it's unlikely that, that, uh, Roblox will accept that sort of thing, but I'll give it an attempt. Um, and then 
after I game hop on Roblox, this will only last for like two, three days, um, I'll start playing the games that I want to play, which I have a list of games, I have a couple in my Steam library and stuff, of games that I want to play with my friends, um, particularly uh, WoW and Sea of Thieves, and then after those games, I'll play games on, uh, like the games in the Twitch categories, all the games that I'm interested in, from least popular to most popular, um, and I'll just go through all of them, and then after that, um, I'll strategically play the games with the best ratio of uh, viewers to streamers in every category, um, and then once I do that, I'll uh, go back to playing games that I like, and I'll just keep doing that, and then I'll do, and then I'll IRL stream, jumping out at me. And because this is a popular game and everyone's trying to stream it now that it's new, if you try and stream the newest game... Actually, I'm reversing the steps. I'm going to... Before I play the games from least popular to most popular, I'm going to play the games strategically in a best viewer to uh, streamer ratio. You're going to be down here in the lower parts. You're going to be down with five viewers, four viewers, if you're lucky. If you're bringing an audience that you've already established, yeah, they're going to come and watch you. But if you're trying to gain a new audience, if you've got no followers, no kind of, no pre-existing audience, and you stream one of these games, you're going to be down here, in the bottom. You are going to have no one and no reason to be clicked on. So let's discount that, go back to browsing. How about the exact opposite? How about we say, you know what, let's just have a look at what the, the least streamed game is. Let's scroll all the way down, because this sorts by number. Let's scroll all the way down until we've got a game with almost no viewers whatsoever. And we'll stream that, because then you can monopolize the market. Then there's going to be no streamers. You can completely monopolize whatever there is. Yep. So let's have a look down here. I'm going to keep scrolling down. I think, in generally, it's a better strategy if you're growing to start at the bottom and work your way up. So the numbers drop even lower. Let's see what the... And then now this is way too low. Th these numbers are way, way, way too low at this point. That's what I'm talking about. Keep scrolling so we're almost all the way down. Because no one's streaming these games, are they? Yeah, no one's watching either. No one's streaming these at all. Let's keep it going all the way down. All the way down. Till we get to less than 10 viewers. There's going to be no streamers there whatsoever. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Devil May Cry 4 <laughs> Special Edition. Let's click on that. Three streamers. Brilliant. Only three people. We can, we can be in there. We can start monopolizing it. Yeah, there's ten viewers. Even if you are the most popular Monopolize Devil May Cry 4 streamer, True. you're going to be getting four or five people watching. I'm not saying that's bad, and I'm not in any way... I'm saying that's bad. ...way having a go at the person streaming this game. I'm sure they're great. But if you stream an unpopular game, you've got the opposite problem. Yeah, you're going to be able to monopolize the market. People are going to be able to see you. But there's no people there to see you. So we can't look at these games up here. And we also can't look at the games with no one. Which leaves us in a kind of middle ground. A kind of middle grey ground. So let's have a look at these. Let's take any game with just under a thousand viewers, or around a thousand, dropping down to around a hundred. To me, that seems fair. We'll start from around here. Clash Royale, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is a favourite game of mine. That's a great place to start. So Dark Souls 3, we're looking at just over a thousand. And then we'll scroll down, we'll see what we've got till we get to around a hundred views. A hundred views, what are we looking at? Ooh, Final Fantasy VII's in there, Resident Evil 2. Uh, the Tomb Raider games, and then Cuphead. What a lovely place to finish, Cuphead. So from Dark Souls 3 to Cuphead, two phenomenally difficult, incredibly rewarding games. Everything between Dark Souls 3 and Cuphead, this is where you should be looking. This is the kind of fair game. Games in between here, they're going to have enough viewers to be you know, watched and to be relevant, but they're not going to have enough streamers to compete. Yeah, I like to look at, look at games that have a cult following. Look at games that have... Um... See, when, when you're at this low uh, of a scale, there's actually a, a significant difference in, in not necessarily the quantity of impressions, but the quality of impressions. Because when you're at this, uh, this level right here, 
you could develop a deep, deep, close personal relationship with your viewers. Um, and a lot of people have that. And like I said, a lot of people have cult followings of these things. Things like, uh, you know, um, Mario Odyssey and GTA and, and stuff like that. And even Celeste now, now especially, um, you'll find... Oh, and why is Roblox down here? I thought Roblox was that way more. I guess people who play Roblox are vast majority, like, little, like, very, very little children. But, um... Uh, what's it called? Still a stu stupid popular game. But you look at, like, games that have a more of a cult following where it may not have um, the most viewers in terms of numbers, but the quality of the viewers is much, much higher. Like, take, for example, um, Smash Bros, right? The competitive Smash Bros scene is a fraction of the size of the competitive uh, Call of Duty scene, the competitive CSGO scene, the competitive uh, League of Legends scene. It's... it's less than a percent you know it's minuscule compared to them but the the and the viewer numbers re uh, um, re reflect that however the audience attendance numbers for events don't reflect that at all smash is notorious for having um the highest number of uh physical people showing up at uh at, at local events and national events uh, relative to the size of the community. It's notorious for that. And um, because of that, if you're if you want, you know, the the glory of, of uh, playing competitively, if you want to meet, you know, top competitive Smash players, the best players in the world, you could probably go to a local event occasionally and find them. Like it's, it's very common. Um, yet at the same time, it's still so, so big, you can it doesn't take very much effort to end up on the on the big stages um, for for Smash Ultimate to to be a part of uh, Smash history basically to end up in these documentaries and these videos that people are constantly making about it and so in that way Smash is particularly appealing if that's what you're looking for in esports right if you're looking for uh, attendees but then there's also the whole like Nintendo going for your throat so. But that's un that's unrelated. But if you're going for if you're going in this, there's also this thing to consider of like, go for games that have a cult following. Like think about what what it means to have a cult following, where people who like love Mario Odyssey will go in there and they'll be like, you know what, I'm just gonna go check out other streamers. A lot of people in Fortnite watch just like Ninja, and they're like, I'm not gonna go look at other Fortnite streamers. But a lot of people who watch things like Mario Odyssey are like, you know what. I want to go check out other people on Mario Odyssey have going on. Put yourself in the mindset of the viewers and uh, imagine what they would do. And if you can imagine that a significant chunk of them would be going around looking at other people in the category and where they would be looking, you know, top few rows, top one, two, three rows. And if you can end up in those rows, then you have your golden goose. Completely saturate the market. Now I've done no research on this, I'm just going off the, the experience I've got. Let's give it a go, Borderlands 2, let's click there. Okay, so how many Borderlands 2 streamers we got? You've got quite a few. This is another problem you're gonna find. Games in the middle, games that are just popular enough, will probably be completely monopolized by one person. This guy up here has got 139 viewers. Second place has got 41, and third place, seven. Damn. We scroll down. And at the bottom, we see several guys. But that's actually that's actually not even that bad. Because with very few viewers, you can jump in, get like three of your homies to, to have your stream loaded in the background, and you could end up at a pretty high level in these games. So people who go into these games, if it is a common thing that they do where um, they don't necessarily go to the biggest streamer, which a lot of these games, even at, the, at this level, this mid-level right here, a lot of them will go in and they'll look for their very specific uh, favorite streamer. But if they go into these categories, if people are, if this is a, a game that, um, that's been out for a while and it's not like uh, people are just getting notified, oh, your favorite streamer is live. People are actually going into it, they're scrolling down, they're curious about it. Very few viewers will put you at a very high level in this, you know? And then you could collaborate with the bigger streamers. So this could actually be a huge advantage. Could be. Zero. And then a few with one, 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 two. You could add 
every single stream together that's yeah. not the top stream and still not get as many views as this guy has. If you stream a middle game, you're going to be at the bottom. You've then just got to rely on being good and being found and being discovered and being entertaining Facts. before people stick around and watch. And that's a huge factor. It's not like a, a binary, okay, you're entertaining or you're not entertaining. Are you entertaining or you're going to go up? It's highly reliant on the game. And even then, it's a spectrum. It's like, okay, well, this game uh, has this much potential to, to, for me to be discovered. Uh, it has, like let's say, like a 50% level of me to be discovered. But I'm 100%, uh, I'm, I'm in my element, you know? I'm 100% charismatic when I'm playing this game. But this game has a 70% um, chance of me being discovered when playing it. But I'm more like at like a 40% charisma level when I'm playing it. And you have to you have to make a call there. You know you have to use your best judgment. This is the issue that we're in. So we then let's have a look at some more. Ooh, we need to find a game that's got almost no streamers. But I'm if you're good at Osu, just play Osu, and uh, you'll end up at the top. Large viewer base. But like, if you want to be good at Osu, that's like at this point, bro, don't even bother. Uh, how about Age of Empires Two? That's a classic game. You could stream Age of Empires 2. Yeah, good well, one. Well, the number one person has 288, and down here we've got 0, zero Okay, two. maybe, I don't know. It's still it's hard to tell. I still like my strategy, though. I like my odds. Zero, one, one, one. Not many streamers. That's good. That's going to be able to help you get found. But, uh, again, the top guy's monopolizing it still. You know the point of this video, guys, is to show you the pointlessness of doing this. Oh. Take it in a different way. Let's imagine Let's imagine that you're not thinking about streaming, but you're thinking about your life. You're thinking about the job you want to do for the rest of your life. What job do you want to have? I want to be an actor. I'm lucky enough. Wow, I didn't think he was actually going to go into this. You got me in the second half, or first half, not going to lie, but like... Damn, I actually really like this. Yeah, I like, I like the way this guy thinks. To make some money acting, I'm lucky enough to make some money on Twitch. I've worked very hard and I've got there. But if I was just thinking, hmm, what job is what job should I do? If I say to someone, what job should I do? Well, statistically, probably something to do with oil. As far as one of the fastest growing occupations go, something to do with solar energy, renewable energy. Lawyers, they're always necessary. Sanitation workers are always needed. Plumbers, electricians, they make quite a lot of money. Uh, anything to do with industry, planes, public transportation. One of the largest employing kind of sectors is the commercial transportation industry. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should stop being an actor and go and be a truck driver. Mm. Maybe I should stop trying to follow this crazy dream of acting and go and do something stable. Nine to five office job, be a data entry clerk. It's more stable, it's more guaranteed, it would get me a bigger income. But I don't do that because I don't want to. Facts. Look at these games. Look at them. Hey, look, Paladins and The Witcher. See, these games I, I really like. Want to play? I want to play Diablo. I want to play um, uh, Dark Souls. I want to. I want to. I already played Super Mario World quite a lot. And I'm kind of bored of it at this point, even though I love it. Um, wow, how is Clash Royale up here? That game is absolute garbage. I want to play Rust. Like, Someone is streaming Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Ocarina of Time. 2,325 viewers. Clint Stevens. I've never watched this guy. Hey, Clint Stevens. I know, yeah. Probably will later on. Second place, Champy, 42. Someone down here with zero. You know what, this guy, I've never watched him, but I can guarantee this guy is bringing something, uh, something interesting. Also, why are you streaming Super Mario 64 Ocarina of Time? <laughs> that guy is going to bring something new bring something interesting and that's going to be passion love care interest true he doesn't even know who Quinn Stevens is and he's absolutely right he does bring passion don't ask what should I stream instead ask what do I want to stream ask yourself what do you love what do you enjoy what can you stomach playing for long periods of time and in reality that's actually the working strategy like, if you ask, what should I stream, a non-intelligent person will have the whole thought process here in the first half. 
But an intelligent person will realize, oh, what I should stream to grow is actually what I want to stream. Because it will give me the highest uh, chances of, um, of people sticking around. If, if, I'm, if I'm in my zone, you know? Then stream that. I mean, for example, let's go. Like, people don't realize how well it actually works if you do what you love. Like, doing what you love does have a very high success uh, probability. Surprisingly high. And people don't get that. My following tab, games. I stream Dark Souls 3 and Neverwinter quite a lot. There's 103 viewers on Neverwinter right now. Stuck on that. Uh, number one, 80 people are watching FN Husa. I happen to know FN Husa. He's a lovely guy. He's also a great streamer. He's very entertaining. I love his content. We get on here. I know quite a few of these people. And when I stream Neverwinter, I get a constant viewership. I'm not saying Neverwinter's the best game in the world. I'm not saying it's fantastic, but I like it. So I stream it. What should you stream? Good for this guy. Good for this guy. And you should just stream what you want. Whatever the hell you like. Look, retro gaming. Retro gaming, this guy's here streaming old school Final Fantasy. 138 people are watching Final Fantasy. And they're probably watching it because they've got memories of it, they love it, they enjoy it. Cult following. And this guy's bringing some passion. This guy's... Br Look, Earthbound first ever... And, and they re probably resonate with the guy as well because... I, I, I may have actually discounted my own thing. I may have underestimated how much... Uh, the factor of you enjoying the game actually plays into it because if people who are passionate about the games, people who have this like cult following, right? They go in and they, they want to watch some streamers. It is basically a make or break. It is basically like a binary because a lot of people will go into categories. They'll have no passion for what they're doing. They'll click on it. They'll be like, oh, no, shit. And they'll leave and they'll never watch again. And they'll mark that in their heads. Oh, this person's not a good streamer, not entertaining. I'm never, I'm never going to watch them again. It, it actually ruins them long term. But if you bring the passion, the same level of passion that people who want to view go in. I always say, I always say this. Dissolve the barrier between creator and viewer. There should be no difference between creator and viewer. All the creators in here show the same mentality as viewers. They should just be viewing the game, playing the game right alongside them. And all the uh, viewers should also be creators. But that's more of a uh, YouTube philosophy. Um, but like, if you, if you're super passionate about retro gaming, right, you would go in here looking for people just as passionate as you. And if you're that passionate, you can play these games and you will attract the same people just like you to watch you. So it's like, that is the optimal strategy for this. I'm in, I'm in the just chatting category right now, but, um, I mean, I mean, like, I'm only in here because I don't really fit in any other category just right now because I'm not playing anything. A play th I sh there should be a re reaction category. Earthbound's a classic RPG, a classic, classic game. And to watch someone play it for the first time is going to be great. He'll then move on and do something else. What game should you stream? The answer is whatever the hell you want. Because if you stream the most popular ones, you'll never get found. If you stream the least popular ones, there's no one there to watch. If you stream something in the middle, all the games are already monopolized by one good person streaming it. So stop worrying. Stream what you like. Advertise it on Reddit, on Facebook, in the community, on forums of the game that you play. Please stop saying what should I stream? Because it's the same thing as saying, what job should I have? The only person True. If you, if you decide to, even if you have the idea, okay, what should I stream? If you go in with this strategy of saying, I'm going to go for the most potential growth, the most potential viewers, then you're basically uh, destroying any, any um, reason for you to do it in the first place because people the reason why people stream is because they look at the streamers who have done it before they look at the people who they enjoy and whether or not it's true it still gives on the impression that they're living the dream they're they have the job that they want to have that they're passionate about that they would do anyways no matter what and they're somehow managing to make a living from it 
And that's why people stream, because they want that for themselves. And if you stream something that you don't want to stream, doesn't that kind of defeat the whole purpose of having that dream of doing what you love and making money from it? Because you're not doing what you love anymore. You might as well go get a nine to five. I can answer it is you. What job can you see yourself doing for the rest of your life? If you can see yourself playing RuneScape, Black Desert Online, being in a talk show, Lineage 2, Legend of Zelda, if you can see yourself doing that for the rest of your life for a couple of weeks, do it. Can't see yourself doing it? Don't do it. Because what would happen? Imagine what would happen. Nice. If you said to me, what game should I stream? And That's such a beautiful way to look at it. Like, you really got to stop and think about, can I see myself playing this? And I could see myself playing Sea of Thieves for like three days and then I'm done. And I even told it to these guys. I'm like, bro, this is not going to be fun for that long. It's it, it, The game seems to be very repetitive. Let's play it for a few days and let's get over with it. I, gave I know it'll be super fun for those three days. So I told him, I'm like, I'm st I still want to play it. You have a really, really good reason to stream Magic the Gathering. Now, I happen to be a huge Magic the Gathering fan. So as soon as I have access to Arena, I definitely will. But if I said to you, you should stream Magic the Gathering, and you hated Magic the Gathering, what are you going to say to me? Are you going to say, hmm, yes, that's a good point. That's a good idea. I mean, I hate this game, and I don't like it, and I don't enjoy it, but I will definitely learn all the ins and outs of playing it and play it to a professional level. Mm. You wouldn't say that. You'd say, eh, I don't like Magic the Gathering, and in that is the clue. You would say to me, you don't like that. So what do you like? Stream that. Find what you like. Stream that. Forget the audience. You do it well enough, they'll be there. Let's find... Yes! True! 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 Let's find a game that... He just, went, he, just, he just brushed past it, but it's like... Man, that's really it. Stream that. Find what you like. Stream that. Forget the audience. You do it well enough, they'll be there. Let's... You do it because you enjoy it. Don't chase the viewers. Chase your passion, and the viewers will chase you. Find... Let's find a game that you think no one's going to watch. Okay, so... I can't really imagine... Heroes 3, the shadow of the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 being too popular. Let's have a look into that. Okay, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is a classic game. There are 414 people watching it. 156 watching the second main play. Down here, yeah, you've got the zeros, but there's an audience. It's there. It exists. Scroll down even further, find a game that we think no one's going to watch. I'm going to just look around until I see a game that I don't recognize. Okay, Slaves to Armok to Dwarf Fortress. Guess what? There's people streaming Dwarf Fortress, okay? There's 347 people watching it, the first one. The other two streams have got six and one. Who would have said, oh, stream Dwarf Fortress, you'll get over 300 views? No one would have guessed that, <laughs> but I I guess that channel's found its, uh, found its niche and loves it. If you want to stream Counter-Strike, stream Counter-Strike. If you want to stream a way out, stream a way out. Stream whatever the hell you want. Stream what you love, stream what you like, stream what you are knowledgeable about, or what you can talk about, or what you can be entertaining while doing. Stop asking people, what should you stream? Because you wouldn't ask them, what should I do with my life? What should I do as a job? True. What should I have for dinner? You choose. It's your choice. Find something you love and do it. Do it as well as you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change this to be my main channel real quick at first. You can. You should stream what you love. Thank you for watching. You have a great day. Find something you love, stream it. And if you love a game and if no one's watching it, you know what? Send me a message. Send me a message. I'll find some time. I'll come and watch you. If you love something, I would love to watch you stream it. I adore watching people share what they're passionate about, share what they love. I love Neverwinter. People come I don't watch think that. at this point you the would do that. The love is obvious. The passion is obvious. The, I believe him. The desire and the, the liking for that game is there. It's so obvious. And that has been what's helped me keep the audience. If you love something and if there's no one watching you, tell me. I'll come and watch you. I guarantee it. I'll find some time. Stream what you love. Share it. Build it. And they will come, as they say.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Nice.